Veteran actor Bill Murray has paid his unnamed sexual assault accuser from the set of being mortal more than $100,000 in hush money to settle the matter outside of court. The surprising development comes roughly six months after the mysterious incident took place and forced production on Being Mortal, a film produced by Disney's Searchlight Pictures and Aziz Ansari's directorial debut, to come to a grinding halt. As earlier reported, Searchlight Pictures paused production in April after a complaint of inappropriate behavior was filed against Murray. So, how did the parties involved arrive at $100,000 and what does the future hold for Murray after this ugly incident? Let's find out. Bill Murray has paid a $100,000 settlement to a female staffer on the now shelved movie, Being Mortal, according to several reports. The news comes as Gina Davis's new memoir alleges that Murray screamed at her on the set of their 1990 crime comedy Quick Change. Being Mortal was set to be director Aziz Ansari's feature film debut before it was shelved due to Murray's inappropriate behavior. At the time, Murray said, I had a difference of opinion with a woman I'm working with. I did something I thought was funny, and it wasn't taken that way. We are trying to make peace with each other. I think that Here is Murray talking about the incident during an interview. He added, The world is different than it was when I was a little kid. What I always thought was funny as a little kid isn't necessarily the same as what's funny now. Things change, and the times change, so it's important for me to figure it out. A source close to the veteran screen star said he felt terrible after the incident, especially after the film was put on pause and people seemed to be losing their jobs due to his behavior. He purportedly engaged the woman in a mediation process, which resulted in his paying her $100,000. Reportedly, Murray and a female staffer were wearing masks on set, and Murray began kissing her body. He also straddled her and, still wearing his mask, pressed his mouth to hers. The actor tried to laugh it off as a joke, but the woman interpreted his behavior as sexual and was horrified. On the good side, it is reported that both Murray and the woman want to finish the film. But producers at Searchlight, which is owned by Disney, are wary of controversy. However, Searchlight may have trouble getting out of its contractual obligations. In order to avoid a legal battle, the company is allowing Ansari to shop the movie to other production companies, though there haven't been any takers so far. That may be due to the continuing involvement of Murray, whose reputation has taken some hits over the last two years. In 2021, Lucy Liu detailed a fight between herself and Murray on the set of 2000's Charlie's Angels. As we're doing the scene, Bill starts to sort of hurl insults, and I won't get into the specifics, but it kept going on and on. She said, I would not stand down, and nor should I have. I'm not going to sit there and be attacked. Earlier this year, Murray dropped out of Wes Anderson's new film, Asteroid City, after catching COVID-19. He can currently be seen starring opposite Zac Efron in Peter Farrelly's The Greatest Beer Run Ever. Sorry, Bill, it's been a terrible year, but next time try keeping your hands and lips to yourself. And that's it from us today. Until next time, bye!